Hi everyone, with Kelvin here. So let's discuss about we weekly contest 11, third question, Toast Strange Coin. So we have some coin. The I coin have probability of prop I of the coin facing to head when it's got tossed. And then we've been asked to return the probability that um, number of coin equals to target if every coin we can only toss it exactly once. So take a look on the example. So here we have one coin and that coin the probability of facing head is 0 0.4 and our target is one so we only need one coin that is facing head so the answer will be 0 0.4 on the second question uh, the second test case so we have five coin here um, the probability of the coin facing head is 0 0.5 um, for all of them and our target of coin facing head is zero so how we calculate this is by um, this is the probability of the coin facing head so the probability of the coin not facing head is also 0 0.5 so the first coin happen to be not facing head second coin not facing head so the probability will be 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 and that 0 0.5 is come from 1 minus um, the probability of facing head itself so yeah this question we have a base case of uh, we know how to calculate when the target is zero so we set it as a base case and this can be solved um, using a dynamic programming so um, let's see here um, how we solve it so when the target is zero um, from certain index of coin that we haven't tossed until the end uh, until the rest of the coin um, we times the probability by one minus the probability of it facing head and then we return is um, as the probability and the next case is if the index is equals to um, prop dot length so it means like um, we already toss all of our coin but the target is still not read so the target is not zero it means like we already toss all of our coin but we still have um, target head remaining so it means uh, the the condition is not fulfilled so in that case i return a zero and otherwise when we have target more than zero so what we're going to do is we calculate the probability of the current coin facing head times um the sub problem will be um we we toss our next coin but um current coin the target minus one so it means like um this current coin the probability of it facing head so when it's facing head our target is minus one okay and the next one we also need to add up the probability that if we toss current coin and current coin is not facing head so that means um we move on to next index but our target is not being minus by one because we still have the same number of head we need to achieve uh, on our next sub problem and then we catch uh, the catch is uh, to memorize so when we have the same index and target um, happen again we don't need to calculate it again so th that is the sub problem that we can catch so yeah um, we store every time we met certain index um, of coin we need to toss and the how many target of coin is there so we return it if we already calculated it before and if it's first time we calculate it we store it here and that's it for this question so thank you for watching see you on the next weekly contest